This is the moment Hannah Waddingham was applauded for calling out a photographer who asked her to show a little leg while posing for photos at the Olivier Awards. And then she does move off with a sort of she does. flick of the hands. She In does. a post Me Too world, is the media still really that sexist towards women? Author Eleanor Mills says sexism is still a problem in celebrity culture, but reality star Ashling Horgan Wallace says it's all part of the job. <laughs> is it, Ashling? I just feel like if you're on the red carpet and you're wearing a fabulous dress with a slit all the way up, which I did the previous Monday, I would want to pose and have that leg showing a little bit and just looking my best and being the peacock that I am. Um, because it's a time and place. I wouldn't come on Good Morning Britain and wear the same attire and pose the same way. But I think it's part and parcel of the industry. Yeah, I really do. And I also think it's consumer-led. What gets the most clicks? Yeah, What right. gets the most clicks? And me, as myself as a woman, I'm going to click on the picture with the lady in the best dress, looking the best, posing the best. It's all part of the red carpet game, Eleanor. Well, I think this is part of a media lens which is still very male-dominated. So I think that the way that newspapers, TV, marketing, advertising tends to portray women is all about how young and sexy they are and getting them to show as much flesh as possible. There's a recent cover of Vanity Fair uh, where they've got all the Hollywood icons of, of the last year, all the men are in tuxedos and all the women are hardly wearing anything. And so I think it's impossible to say that we don't live in a sexist culture or have a sexist media when women are so often scantily clad and men Men are in seats. Like I mean, look that, at the two. Though. Some women like to dress in a really nice dress, and, and I mean, look at Hannah. She looks fabulous. So she's got but a little bit of leg show in there. She actually, looks great. It's not about. It's not about that. It's about what is rewarded in the culture. You know what? The what clicks. Pitch. The clicks. It's, it's a, clickbait. It's about the clicks. So you <laughs> so know, society for me. It's, a, it's the choosing to look at those pictures. It's the matrix in which we live, which is which always. Um, kind of heroes women for how they look or for being young and attractive or kind of sexy rather not than young. men are I'm allowed not young. to. I'm well, not, Hannah's not particularly young. Well, it gets young. a lot worse as you get older, I think. <laughs> but, 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 um, but, but does that mean, Eleanor, so, you know, um, we referred earlier to Me Too yeah. and the abuse of powerful men abusing their position to manipulate the careers of women in return for favours. a terrible, terrible thing. But when you're talking here about the red carpet, which, you know, it's true that most of the photos in the papers on Monday will be women. Yeah. And most of the, the, of the photographers are men. But the, the power dynamic here is more subtle. The women who choose to walk down the catwalk in those dresses, do you judge them badly for that? I don't judge them about it at all, but Why I not? really... Why well, aren't I... they part of... I applaud. Um, this happen. I just applaud Hannah Waddingham for, for calling it out, mm. for saying that you don't say to a man, you know, when you walk down the red carpet, Ed, they don't say, show us your butt. Because what could he do? They don't even take photos of me. I mean, I get totally ignored. <laughs> I could walk oh, through Ed. like I was you know, in the security. But you couldn't pull a leg out, you <laughs> it, know, you don't have a split well, in your to, trousers to show off your legs. That is so. True. But I know, it's, but it's in the case of Hannah Waddingham, she. Look at that today, that's the cover of the mail. So we've got Trump's face and her boobs. I mean, that, for me, absolutely sums up how <laughs> women are perceived and valued um, in well, the Well, there press. was definitely a relationship um, so... there which was based upon... Yes, exactly, All that transaction. That. But what I'm saying is that we need to interrogate within the culture how we see these what things. Do you Think say? Page definitely... three. But you didn't quite answer three. my question. What do you say to the women? Oh, a politician Unlike Anna... saying, I don't answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> how ironic. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, uh, things really have come I, to them in now. my new role, I'm asking the question. <laughs> okay. And yeah, to answer them. <laughs> so, um, uh, in the case of Hannah Waddingham, you criticised mm. her... You know, you, you, so you praised her for what she did. But what about all the other women who didn't do what she did on that day. <laughs> are, they, are, they, are they making a mistake? I think are they being just, weak? No, are they playing I, along? What, no, what do you say to them? Of course they're not being weak or playing along. But what they are doing is 
um, succumbing to the matrix in which we all live, no. where, where we put a different no. value on men and women. No. And it's really rubbish. important that we call that out. No, rubbish. I, I'm, a, I'm a woman and it's nothing to do with that. It's to do with the fact that I like to get dressed up. I like to look pretty. It's for me, it's for myself, it's not for anyone else. But and you've if... made a career out of being kind of glamorous in a very but kind that, of particular way. I was like way. that before, before I was ever on TV. But the media That's has just... totally a lot rewarded of women... you for being like that, no? Do you know what I think? I no, think... I walked around on my first TV show with no eyebrows, no hair draw, <laughs> like nothing, no I... makeup. I was a mess. So, so why are no. you like this now? <laughs> because I look it. I think I love it's it. a different thing, if I might intervene. I think it, it's Hannah saying, I can look however I want. I'm going to go out and I'm going to show my shoulders. Mm. And at one point, she is showing show her leg, leg yeah. right, on the red carpet. But you, as the photographers, have no right to tell me what to do. Yeah. And when you say, show us some leg, I find that you're trying to manipulate me, exactly. I feel objectified, I feel like you're sort of trying to make do something creepy it's, and intrusive. Kind of and so for me, as somebody who also yeah. walks down a red carpet mm -hmm. quite often with you, mm -hmm. I, I, I find that it's, it can be quite a... It's quite an intimidating atmosphere. Yeah. You have yeah. a pack of people. Yeah. Pack of you know, men. Man, men. No, and women. There, and are, women. there are occasionally women. women. And most, most but, perhaps but, men. But, you know, with their lenses uh, trained you. on you, and of course you know what they want. They mm. want a, a photograph. But what you don't want is for mm. them to be shouting at you something like, show us your leg or <laughs> give us the back shot. <laughs> or, the way I mean, you, do you know what I mean? But that but is... So but that is the, what she was objecting to. It's a valid, valid, very valid point. But at the same time, sometimes you do need direction. So, like, for example, I went to a premiere uh, previous Monday and it's like, over your shoulder. And I thought, oh, yeah, I didn't think of that pose. So, yeah, but they want, because they I want was. the back shot of yeah, I was you really where you're showing the, the curve of your... You know your I body. Was, uh, I, I need we've a direction got... because sometimes you, all the lights. You can don't make you need nervous. direction. <laughs> you know what you're doing. But sometimes and you do it brilliantly. In, in the haze of the moment, with all the flashing lights, you can get a little bit shaky. So if, if a gentleman, or if a gentleman or a woman, pa paparazzi said over your shoulder, yeah, thank you for that. But oh, normally you they say me, I can go over my shoulder. <laughs> but normally they're saying, look here. Yes. And I've walked here. down with you many times. I've never heard actually any of the snappers call out and say, you know. Show us some leg. I mean, no, I've never. That is not what it is. Come on, leave so I don't think we should no, smear all male photographers here. No, you're know absolutely I mean? right. But that photographer did say it did. Yeah. to and was, Hannah. And she called and that, that right. And she was totally so, right. But, to call but, that. but I would say this is part. Ago. I mean, having been a newspaper editor for 25 years, I think it's also about how women are used within the media. They're used often as eye candy on pages. I remember being told, brighten up with a page, love, which meant put in a picture of a pretty girl. We're not that far. Okay, we have to leave it there. <laughs> to close the newspaper. Women should do it on their own terms. <laughs> yes. Uh, thanks both very much indeed. <laughs>